This question is going to blow your mind. We are given a right-angle triangle whose hypotenuse, or this side length, is 2 units, and this angle is 18 degrees. Also, this side length is x units. Our job is to find the value of this x, but the catch is that we cannot use trigonometry. I know that we can easily find the value of x by using the fact that the sine of 18 degrees will be equal to x over 2, and thus x equals 2 times sine of 18. Now we can find the value of sine of 18 online, which turns out to be this, and plug it here to get x equals this. All this is fine, but math is not just about plugging numbers into formulas. It's about understanding why things work the way they do. So, let's think out of the box to find x. Sum of all angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. Since this is 90 degrees, therefore this angle will be equal to 180 minus 90 minus 18 or 72 degrees, right? Now we will construct a triangle which will be congruent to this triangle like this. So this angle will also be equal to 18 degrees. Then this side length will be equal to x. Then this angle will be equal to 72 degrees. And this hypotenuse will be equal to 2 units. Now here comes the real magic. From this point, let us draw this line which will be an angle bisector of this angle. So both these angles will be equal to 72 over 2 or 36 degrees. Then consider this triangle. This angle is 72 degrees, and this angle is 36 degrees, so this angle will be equal to 180 minus 72 minus 36, or 72 degrees, right? Oh, look, both of them are 72 degrees, which means this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, both these sides will also be of equal length, and since this side is equal to 2x, therefore this side length will also be equal to 2x. Noise! This angle is 18 plus 18, or 36 degrees. Now consider this triangle. Oh, look, this angle is also 36 degrees, which means this triangle is also an isosceles triangle. Therefore, both these sides will also be of equal length. And since this side is equal to 2x, therefore this side length will also be equal to 2x. Double noise. Now look at this part carefully. Look at this big triangle. This is 36 degrees, and both these angles are 72 degrees. Now this is of length 2, and this is 2x, so this piece will be of length 2 minus 2x. Now consider this smaller triangle. This is 36 degrees, and both these angles are 72 degrees. So both these triangles are similar to each other. Therefore, this side length, or 2x, over this side length, or 2, is equal to this side length, or 2, minus 2x, over this side length, or 2x. Triple noise! Now, let us cross-multiply them like this to get this. Expand and rearrange it to get this. I will not bore you by solving quadratic equations. It's super easy. We finally get the roots of this equation as this and this. Now. X cannot be negative because it is the side length of this triangle, and therefore X equals this. By the way, this value is just the reciprocal of the well-known number called the golden ratio, denoted by phi, which is a special number that appears in nature, art, and mathematics. Using this expression, we can also find out the exact value of sine of 18 degrees, which is X over 2 or 1 over 2 phi. Now this is what I call a truly outstanding question, which is worthy of a round of applause and a standing ovation. So good!